Yo, what's up, guys? So basically, today I have the Nike Air Force One, white, black, and I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and on foot and just like how it looks in general. Okay, so looking at the unboxing right now, this is what it normally looks like your normal Air Force One um, packaging and everything. This is what it looks like. So basically, this is the Air Force One uh, 07 white, black. So here's what it looks like. Um, as you can see, it's a normal Air Force One that's white, except there's the black uh, swoosh and the black uh, tag on the back. Um, so basically, this is tumbled leather until, instead of the normal smooth leather that you normally get in an Air Force One. Um, so basically, it's the same silhouette, same everything, uh, white laces. I got a A and a half, and it fits me perfectly, so there's no, like, um, it's not oversized or anything like that. But yeah, so these are what it looks like. See, this is uh, one of the shoes right here. I'll show you in depth of the tumbled leather. You can see there's a little tumble pattern over there on the swoosh and on just everywhere on the shoe. Um, there it is. The bottoms. The bottoms are basically just the normal. It's basically just the normal Air Force One if you ever owned one. Um, but just with the tumbled leather and the different uh, swoosh color, which is black. The inserts in here. That's what the inside looks like. Basically, it's a normal Air Force One. If you want to get more of in-depth um, kind of view of the Air Force One in the description, check out my other uh, Air Force One video that was a couple years ago. Um, I'll probably do another update on like how it looks after a couple months of using it, and just um, updates in general of how it's like if it's worth buying. Because um, Air Force Ones have actually gone up in pro in price. When I got my Air Force One a couple years ago, it was ninety dollars, and I believe it's one fifteen. So it's gone up quite a bit, but um, I still like this kind of shoe. The silhouette is pretty cool, um, and I'll show you an on foot right now. Okay, so I promise you guys a fit. Uh, so here's the fit. I have a normal with DNA thread shirt on that. It's my personal brand. I have some H&M cargo pants. You got the shoes right here, as you can see. It's a pretty basic fit, but honestly, that's what I put on. Um, as you can see, Air Force Ones kind of go with anything. Right here, um, I honestly, this is gonna make a lot of people mad, a lot of sneaker heads, but I don't really mind if I crease them. I feel like it adds character, but it's for me personally. So this will fit with it on. As you walk around, it looks pretty, looks pretty like a normal Air Force One. I saw my Air Force One review on the white black. Um, these came out a while ago, so they're kind of an old shoe, but I thought I'd make a kind of updated review of maybe like they changed quality or something like that. For overall, uh, as I got my Air Force Ones like years ago, it's still the same quality. This is probably gonna last like a long time. Um, because they're normally built very well. Also, the price went up, so I assume the product, <laughs> the quality goes up too. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. Overall, I would recommend the shoe because even though it's kind of on the more expensive side, um, it's still like a classic silhouette and it's, it's kind of a status thing, I guess. But um, yeah, um, if you like Air Forces, I recommend them. Um, if you like this colorway specifically and the tumbled leather, if you're fine with that. Um, perfect cool. Um, but yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Let me know if I should do anything else with my like if I go more in depth of my shoe reviews or anything you don't like or anything you did like, make sure to comment. Uh, thanks so much and see y'all in the next video. Peace out.